Welcome to the Creating a Video Assignment Demo. In this demo, you will learn how to use the Video Assignment Tool by UCU to create an assignment folder for your students to record and submit their own video presentations in your D2L Brightspace course. At the end of this demo, you will be able to create a Video Assignment folder and add a link to it in the Content Tool. You might be wondering what the Video Assignment Tool is. This tool allows you to create assignments for your students in which they have the ability to complete a video recording from within the tool itself. Your students will not need additional software. However, they will need a webcam and microphone built in or external. The recordings will be saved directly to your video assignment folder for ease of review and grading. Let's start creating a video assignment and see how this tool works. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. From the Other Tools drop down menu, choose the Video Assignments option. On the Video Assignments dashboard, you can click the Create Assignment button. We will start the setup by entering the name of the assignment in the name field. Then click the Save and Continue button. The next screen is where you will set up the participants and enter the assignment instructions. In the Participants section, you will want to select the Whole Class option if this assignment pertains to all of the students on your class list in D2L Brightspace. Select the Educator Formed option if you are setting up this assignment for an individual set of students within the course, or if you would like to set up groups for this assignment. You will be able to select the users to have access to this assignment after you finish setting up this assignment. Enter the assignment instructions in the instructions field. You also have the ability to upload an instructional video or record a short instructional video for your students. Click the Save and Continue button. On the next screen, you will set up the grading method. You have the following options. Educator Ratings. The instructor rates the submission on a 5-star scale. Grade Entry. The instructor will manually enter a percentage grade. Pass Fail. The instructor selects Pass or Fail as the grade for each submission. Completed, Not Completed. The system will automatically grade the assignment based on whether or not the student submitted before the end date. Peer Review. Allows students to watch each other's video presentations and give peer reviews. Make your selection and then click the Save button. You will be asked to enter the assignment due date. Then click Save again. If you selected Educator Form when setting up the participants portion, you will want to take a moment to finish the participants setup. Start by clicking on the Custom Participant icon to the right of the assignment name. Your whole D2L Brightspace class list should show up in the box titled Students Without Groups. If not, click the Synchronize Roster button. Before choosing one of the next options, decide how you want to set up your groups. It is not easy to switch back and forth between the different styles of groups. To set up your own groups, you will start by clicking the Create Groups button. Enter in the number of groups you want to create and click the Create button. Drag the student's name from the Students Without Groups column into the different groups. You can edit the different group names by clicking on the pencil icon next to the group name. Enter in a new group name and click the Submit button. Click the Save button when you are done. You can delete the groups 
by clicking on the trash can icons next to each group. But in order to see the trash can icon, the groups must be empty. You will need to drag and drop the students back into the students without groups column. Then click the trash can icon and click OK to the message. Repeat the process again to delete the second group. Then click the Save button. To randomly set up groups, you will need to start by clicking the Random Distribution button. Enter in the number of groups you want to create and click the Create button. Click Save when you are done. Click the Video Assignments tab along the left side to return to the dashboard. Your students will be able to access this video assignment folder through the Other Tools drop-down menu and selecting the Video Assignments tool. Or you can add a link to the assignment folder in your content module. Go to the content page and select the module that you would like to add the link to this video assignment folder to. Click the Existing Activities drop-down menu and select the Video Assignments option. If you need to create a new video assignment, you can do so here by clicking on the Create Assignment button and following the steps we previously covered. Click the Select button to the right of the Video Assignment folder link that you would like to be added to this module.